friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 14th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a glance at world weather. Checking out here the last seven days of imagery on our sun. Very active sunspot region has produced over a dozen solar flares over the past two days, and as well another one getting ready to come into an earth-facing view. Another look here, we've got some large plasma filaments stretching across both hem hemispheres right now of our sun. Definitely gonna be watching the complexity of our sun the next couple days. Also have an incoming coronal hole, bottom left-hand side. Solar X-ray flux remains in C range right now. After seeing over a dozen C-class solar flares, it has been flaring consistently here for the past two days. Geomagnetic activity, slightly elevated KP1. A real-time solar wind sitting at 448 kilometers per second after being jacked up to about 510 kilometers per second earlier today. And this is ahead of the space weather we were expecting. Having a look at Lasco 2 showing all the energies coming off of our sun in the last few flares. Constant energy coming from our sun right now as the solar flux remains in C range. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing a large CME taking off from our sun and will be heading our way for the 18th into the 19th of November. So we can expect heightened energy and seismicity across the world. Schumann resonance for today is a power of nine after being up at 45 yesterday. Quite the spike yesterday, but now back down to nine. 6.7 quality, power of six. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours, which started out this morning with a 6.1 at Fiji Islands, 627 kilometer depth. And we're still seeing some very deep earthquakes in the region here. 630 kilometer depth, 4.6, and as well, 652 kilometer depth, 4.9. 4.7, 570 kilometer depth. So very deep earthquakes still shaking in Fiji. Papua New Guinea, 5.0. Very quiet through Indonesia up into the Philippines plate. Activity here right from Mariana Islands, 5.0 up into Japan, 4.2 there, the Bonin Islands, as well a 6.1 rang out in Toba, Japan, 357 kilometer depth, still very deep for the region. 4.1 here in Nagu, China, as well a 4.2 Hindu Kush region, Afghanistan, 151 kilometer depth. South of the Arabian plate here. Yemen seeing a 4.4. Zinjabar, Yemen, 4.4 at a 10 kilometer depth. Not much to report through Europe, but Rick Jane's Ridge saw some activity today, a 5.1 and as well a 4.9. So very quiet today. South America as well. Not much to report at all. North American plate. Pretty quiet as well. Minor activity up into the geysers. Largest being a 3.1 just recently. And as well, notable. Mammoth, Wyoming. Still seeing minor activity through Yellowstone. And that was the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick glance around the world. For the past seven days, you got to wonder what's going on here in the Southwest Pacific. With all of the deep earthquakes and large earthquakes. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Activity is straight through the Pacific Plate and up into the Indian Plate. Hashtag no fear here. Take a quick moment to thank everybody for watching today and as well for all the follows. Welcome all new family members to the channel.
have a plan, be ready, stay aware and prepared. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at Swiss and Ajima in Japan. As well, Nevados de Ruiz in Colombia. Sabancaya in Peru. As well, Reventador in Ecuador. Fuego in Guatemala, Decono in Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Popopacatitl in Mexico, Shevelich in Russia. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today, including Semeru, Indonesia, and as well Krakatoa in Indonesia. Quick glance at the systems across the world. As most of eastern Canada is gripped in snow right now. Across the Pacific Ocean, there's only one tropical system to talk about. And that is in the middle, North Pacific. Tropical Depression, Yamaniko. That will be heading up into the northern BC coastline and Alaska in the long range. Heavy rains through northern Sumatra and as well South India, South Africa, and as well quite a system churning through the Mediterranean right now. And more to come as we have a pretty strong system heading into Europe. In the next few days. Let's get to a windy forecast models. Showing our winds and low pressure systems. As we do have quite a strong system coming off eastern Canada and into the North Atlantic. And as I said, a pretty strong system in the long range forecast heading into the Mediterranean. And that thing came from the Gulf. Fair weather conditions across most of North America right now. No major systems affecting us. Quick look at windy conditions. As there will be some extreme winds and extreme weather and coupled with this low pressure system heading through the Mediterranean. Quick glance worldwide at all of the moisture falling worldwide and forecast models. As we've got snow moving in from most of the prairies, Canada, and heading down into the upper Midwest, the United States. Watch for snow squalls and lake effect snow across most of Ontario over the next little while. Colder temperatures hanging about. Overlooking Africa and Europe. A little forecast model here for the Mediterranean. Two systems moving into Northern Europe, Ireland and the UK and France. And then long range forecast, some pretty big systems setting up for Greece and Italy. Overlooking the rest of the world, no major tropical systems to talk about. But there is a whole lot of snow falling in Russia parts of northern China and watch as that large low pressure system invades Kamchatka in the long range forecast going to see a lot of snow through eastern Russia this year I do believe Having a look here, west coast, seeing some moisture coming in and a lot of snow in the long range forecast. Give you a quick look at what the temperatures will be like across North America. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. You get your daily too.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.